So you've got a skateboarder that shoots off of the ramp with some velocity directed at an angle. I'm going to sketch this up above. So there's the ramp. Shoots off with some initial velocity at some angle. Theta initial. Um, and we know th the location of the ramp. 1.2 meters. Um, the origin is the point directly below the ground, so the origin is here. How high above the ground is the highest point? How, how high above is the uh, max height? The question also asks how far is he when he lands? So we need to find x final. So I'm going to divide this into two problems. This is one and this is two because we're evaluating two, two, two duration, two periods. The, the time to the, uh, that it takes to get to the maximum height and the time it takes to land. So let's just look at one first. So in this situation, you start at x initial as the origin X final, we don't know, but remember we're just looking at the first period here, so the first part of the problem. So X final in this case is going to be r right there at the maximum height. VX initial, well first I should put V initial in, which is 6.6 .6 .6 meters per second, an angle of 58 degrees. VX initial is VI cosine theta I. Why? Well, because if you have V initial, V initial X, V initial Y, and we're given theta I, cosine of theta initial is adjacent VIX over hypotenuse VI, so I can solve for VIX like so. The final velocity in the X direction is VI cosine of theta initial, which is the same thing because the acceleration is zero. We know the time in the X direction so this problem got cut off somehow. Um, let's take it from here. So the initial velocity in the x direction is vi cosine of theta initial. That is because you have this initial velocity vector here. It has an x component, a y component, and cosine gives you the adjacent leg of that vector. So vi cosine initial. Since acceleration is zero, the final component is the same. Time, we don't know what time is, but we know it's equal in each dimension. Y initial, we start out at 1.2. We end up, well, we don't know where we end up, but we know that's what we're trying to find. How far above the ground did we end up? And the initial velocity in the Y direction is just a, similar to this, but it's using sine instead. The final velocity in the Y direction is zero because that's where the object stops. That's where the skateboard can, it stops, can, uh, it, it ceases to gain altitude. And the acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. The time is the same in the x direction, we all know what it is. And the initial velocity we're given at some angle. So in order to uh, find the final position, well that's done pretty straightforwardly. We just use this equation, noting that the final velocity is zero. So we solve through, you know, just do some basic algebra and solve for yf. Now at some point we have to plug in for Vy initial, Vi sine of theta initial, and square that whole quantity. And plug in for the acceleration and add the Y initial here, the 1.2 meters, and you end up with 2.8 meters. For the second part though, this is where we work this problem in two stages. Part A is just this initial stage, leaving the ramp and getting to the maximum height. Part two though, we're going to go back to the origin where this skateboard leaves the ramp, but then follow it all the way until it strikes the ground over here. So since we've redefined the problem, we have to redefine all of our, um, our x and y uh, quantities. And we note that the v initial is 6.6 .6 meters per second, and theta initial equals 58 degrees. All of these are the same. X final is different because now instead of going right here to where the skateboard is at maximum height, we're going all the way out here until the skateboard touches the ground. However, 
it was unknown in the first part and now the second part which is a new final position but it's still unknown um, y final is also different instead of trying to find it we know now that it's zero because in the second part the skateboard comes all the way down and touches the ground at y equals zero okay so the first thing you have to do is find the time you've got too many unknowns so if you use this equation to find the time you could do so it's a quadratic you have t squared t and t to the zeroth power you could find the final velocity first and plug that into a kinematic equation that avoids doing the quadratic formula but you end up with the expression similar to this you get two solutions I'll let you plug the numbers in um, rather than doing that myself uh, this you have two solutions a negative time and a positive time well this says that um, the the the, what this says is that y equals 0 at two points, 1.32 seconds, which is at the end, and also negative 0.18 seconds, which just means trace, trace this parabola backwards, and it's at that position some earlier. But none, that's not relevant, because we know before it leaves the ramp, we've got all new physics going on here, so we can't trace the parabola backwards. But it's irrelevant to what we're trying to find anyways. So the time is 1.32 seconds. We'll take the positive solution. And once we have a solution for time, we can just go to the x dimension. We know it starts at the origin. We know the acceleration is zero. So x final equals v initial x in the time and multiplied by time. And vi x can just be expanded to vi cosine theta. Again, you can uh, plug the numbers in and you get to 4.62 meters.